Hello everyone, this is A Stocky here, and welcome to another episode of my A Stocky Pack Let's Play for Minecraft 1.2.5. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just quickly sort of wander around a little bit and let some chunks load in. You can see that my grass has almost spawned. Uh, off camera, since the last episode, I went over that way a little bit. Hoping you might be able to. Yeah. Actually. Actually, this tower might not work, but we'll check it out. We'll see how things go. Basically, what I decided to do was I decided to do some mining off camera. So I would have all the materials that I need in order to be able to produce those advanced machines. And I did a little bit of searching online and found that it wouldn't totally work the way I was hoping that it would. Wow, look at that. Head in the clouds. So just there, where those two torches are, I have just created a little tunnel that goes down underneath the volcano. And I created, well, I didn't create, but I found a nice tunnel. And that really nice tunnel took me down into a bit of a cave system. And so I went mining down there. I thought I would just mine off camera. I didn't get anything that's particularly good. But, you know, I thought I would do it to show you the cool things that you can get. And, ah, look at that. It's raining, not raining. It's the advantage of living in a desert. But, now that I have more stuff, actually I'll show you what I got. I got uh, lots of coal, got some copper, actually quite a lot of copper, quite a lot of iron. Got some tin as well. There's my macerator spun up to full speed. Um, I also flattened my drill, so I'll charge that back up. Now, I don't normally make two episodes in one day, because it doesn't really give people a chance to comment or do anything, but I thought in this particular case I would do that, simply because I wanted to finished making those things I started making last time and I really wanted to kind of get that first episode out so it wasn't really finished what I wanted to do and the next thing is for quite a while I thought this was bugged that rotary macerators didn't work quite the way they should but what I have found out now is if you take copper and tin and you place them both together so if you place it in that slot nothing happens if you place it in this slot it obviously macerates into tin. You place copper in this slot, it macerates into copper. But when you put the two of them together, they macerate into bronze. So that's the purpose of that second slot. You can now actually make bronze dust direct from your ores. I don't actually want to do that, but I could do that. Although now that I think about it, I did actually want to do that because I needed to make some more bronze ingots. So I'm going to place some more tin there. I'm just going to see if this works with red power ores. Yes, it does. So there's another six bronze. Up, oh, wrong switch. Don't let the thing slow down. I totally need to upgrade this. Now, I was also having a look. This extractor, I think, is going to take me a long time to update because you need electrolyzed water cells to be able to update that to be a centrifuge extractor and electrolyzed water cells require you to have an electrolyzer and an MFE and then you got to fully charge the MFE and that is just something that's going to take a long time so compressor I can update uh, furnace I can update <clears throat> the rest of the things not so much wow this is just I love this new macerator I really should have used them in more of my Let's Plays. See how much tin I have. Five pieces of tin, four pieces of steel. Sort things out a little bit. Just in case I have some laying around somewhere that I didn't see. Piece of coal. Oh, I've got more coal dust. Definitely going to need coal dust and there's some more coal. 
If only I had a look at what I was doing before I ran off like that. Okay, so I'm going to need... <clears throat> I need four... Eight... Okay, I need 16 coal... Per advanced machine. I think that's right, isn't it? I'm totally not sure now. I think I might even end up needing more than that. Um, I'm just going to put 32 in. And we'll see how that goes. And while that's going on, there's my bronze. Put some tin down. Put some steel. Put some bronze. Let's compress both of those up. Now that I've done this, I think that 32 was going to be enough to make two of them. But I guess we'll find out in a second. We'll start with that many, just the eight of them. So then we go... Oop. Yep, so it's definitely like that. Yep, so I've made enough for two advanced machines now. Really wish that compressor went faster. <coughs> ah, got to get used to not clicking that. While I'm here, I might as well smelt all this extra ore up and stuff. Uh, come on. I wonder how I'm going for power here. My box is kind of slowly draining itself down. So I've got a few of my machines running all at once. Once these things are up to speed, they take a lot of time and a lot of power to get up to speed and they constantly drain power, but they're actually really, really power efficient. So that's a really good thing once you get them up to speed. It just, it can certainly take a little while to get there. Okay, so let's go, you need a couple of pieces of coal, there's my machine block, there's my advanced machine block. Now how much copper do I have? Not very much, so let's stop that happening, cook up some copper. The other thing is, because this has two output slots, it does a really good job. Sorry, I was in test testing again to try and work out what this thing did. I tried every combination of everything I could think of. I tried uh, putting two pieces of coal in to see if it would just do twice as fast. I tried putting two pieces of every different kind of ore I could think of. And it wasn't until I was just messing around and thought, oh, I'll just chuck this in there because I didn't want to have to hold it. And then it worked. That was in my beautiful test world. Okay, I got bronze, I need more tin. But it's okay, because I'm going to be able to cook up a real lot of it really quickly. Once... Uh, where did... I know I had a... a wrench when I started. There we go. I'm also going to need a piece of cobblestone again to make that to make another lever, and I'm going to need some sticks. There we go. Two levers. Let's take this down, make sure I'm in lossless mode again. Okay. There we go. One induction furnace. Now I just need to work on my inventory management. Okay, now where'd that lever go? Lever on the front. Let's start warming up, baby. 
come on. And now let's see how we're doing over here. Okay, power is draining away quite quickly now. Like really fast. Because that thing's still heating itself up. Okay. Hopefully, once it's full... Oh. Okay. Um... I thought it might come to this. I was really hoping that it wouldn't. What I think has happened is I think my machine outside is not putting out sufficient water to keep all the things that I have going. So I need two of those gears. So the extra one was all a bonus. Now I need to make myself a piston. Uh, redstone. Okay, so I need... Okay. So I need three planks of wood to make a piston. Then I need a piece of iron, piece of redstone, and some cobble. I'm just going to use one of those many, many, many pieces of glass I have. Whoop. Two pieces of... Uh, can never get things going just the way you want them, can you? Now we need a piece of glass. Perfect, one more redstone engine. And I have the lever already. Now hopefully, it's not going to be too bad, but it always is, isn't it? So now we're going to go and put this redstone engine just here. Hopefully I can put the lever up. Why aren't you pumping? There we go. I'm just going to quickly check the the water flow out of this thing. Yeah, it looks like it's not quite full of water, so hopefully it won't take too long. And that third redstone engine will have it back to flowing at full speed. This rain just does not seem to want to stop either. I've got some marble as well. So I read a few different comments about, you know, what would look good here as a bit of a path. And I think one of the ones that I definitely thought is going to look good is marble bricks. It's going to be something that's going to really draw your attention to the path. So I thought I might try that out and see how it goes. have a nice white path straight to the house, edged in cobble and then the natural sort of bricky look. I think I like that. Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know whether you think I should change that, but I think it looks good. 50% heat, still at 100. How are we doing for power? Full up now. Okay, you've just stopped for a second so there's definitely not enough water going in there to power this at the moment it's kind of on and off so once that other machine gets up to full so the other redstone engine gets up to full going should be okay let's go out to my balcony I don't get out there very often hmm. now I know why I can't jump and I can't see oh, I can see that though So the next thing that I'm going to need is obsidian. Loads and loads and loads of obsidian. So I've decided the easiest way to get obsidian is to just go to the nether. So I'm going to take with me, um, I'm going to take my 26 blocks of cobble, 
and some sand. Now put most of this stuff back. Because most of it I don't want to take with me. Just in case something goes wrong while I'm there. Actually I might take some of that, I might take a whole stack of dirt and sand. Okay, so back down and we'll see how we're going down here. Make sure my drill's fully charged. So it, it is definitely charging. It's one of those slow kind of charges though, so that's not full yet. So once that gets to full, it should actually use less power than it is right now. But I will have to check. I might even have to add another two uh, water strainers once I get up to the, the next kind of level. I should probably also make a gate. And I definitely need my flint and steel. Because if anything happens to my portal while I'm in the nether, that would be most bad. I, I know I had a flint and steel. I mean, I've been to the nether. I have to have a flint and steel somewhere. What a place for it. I guess, though, if it was anywhere else, I would have found it straight away and I would have not even thought about it. Okay, so, put the fence back. Mr. Disorganized today. Just come down and have a look at this thing down here. See how it's going. You yeah, can see it's still blue, so it's got quite a long way to go before it's up to the point of being able to really produce a lot of water. Here we go, back up to the top. Okay. Time to go to the nether. <clears throat> now, realistically, I only need eight pieces of obsidian to be able to achieve what I want to achieve. But, I'm kind of thinking that eight's not really all that many. So I'm probably going to end up with a few more than that. I guess I just want to see how things go. Uh, okay. I'm sure there was people yelling at the video, yelling at me going, That's not going to work! Well, uh, thank you for telling me that. Um, obviously, you weren't yelling loud enough, because I did not hear you, and I forgot that you can't place a bucket of water in the nether, so time to retreat with my tail between my legs and try something different. Um, I guess what I will do now is go this way and grab a bucket. And then I will head downstairs below me and show you my new mine and uh, I guess recover to plan B. I'm not sure what plan B is yet though, so you'll have to bear with me. So this is my little little I guess cave that I found. So it's it's actually hmm, Mr. P's iron. actually found quite a lot of things and it's quite a big cave system so I just explored for a little while and I didn't explore down there but I explored kind of around here around that way which doubled back to where I was before kind of torched out this whole area came down this way you can see there's quite a few holes where I mined some things out <clears throat> came down this way kept going down this way this was a an excellent spelunking cave. If 
kept going around. Like like I said, this cave just kind of went everywhere. Comes over this way as well. And it was about here where I stopped. So I got to there and went, wow, look at the size of that cave. And then there was this giant drop off here. And there was this other cave over this way. I kind of didn't really want to go exploring too much further because I was running out of torches. And once again, I only have seven torches left, so I do want to explore and I do want to find lava, but I don't want to die. So, um, not exactly sure how I should do this. The whole not dying thing is really important to me. And so is the fact that I don't have very many torches. So what I'm thinking is I'll come down this way. And I might see if I can follow the water flow a little bit. Without getting myself knocked in the lava. Okay. That didn't go quite as far as I was hoping. But what 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 high are we down to now? Thirty-six. Guess we just go down a bit now and see what happens. have to excuse the darkness. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back in a moment. Okay, I thought I'd bring you back because I'm getting attacked. But also because I seem to have found another opening as I was digging down. And it definitely looks like it oh. doesn't go quite as far down as I thought it would. Although it's got a tunnel that links down to another tunnel. Just trying to find some lava. I just don't seem to be able to find any lava. Um, don't have any sticks either that I can make any torches out of. wonder how this is going to go. Lucky there's plenty of sand in the desert. Some light down that way. And light normally means lava, so I'm thinking it's not going to be too hard for me to get down there and make a run for it and get to the light. So, um, problem is, getting back up I don't think is going to be all that easy. I wonder if I can somehow... Yeah, there we go. That should be a, a nice stairway up. Um, don't want that skeleton to get me. How many arrows have I got? Only three. Oh, he seems to have gone. Make a run for it. Oh, perfect. And some Nicolite. I think I found a ravine. Excellent. Um, now I just have to work out a safe way to get around this lava. Perfect. That was exactly what I was hoping for. That lava is not what I'm hoping for. I'm just thinking maybe I can kind of block it off a little. Why aren't you stopping? There we go. Perfect. Okay, much better. So, here we have our... Actually, it looks like a pretty large area of lava. Don't want to put it all out because, like I said, ooh, 
I can see lots of Nikolai and hear some really good noises. So I still want to make more uh, blue electric solar panels. So I'm definitely going to need this stuff. How many have I got there? 35. <clears throat> I just I keep thinking that I'm going to need like 64 of it. What I'm actually what I'm hoping is that this is a one. No, it's not. Okay. I was hoping this was a one level deep lava pit. Because if it was one level deep, it'd make it much easier for me. But it doesn't look like it's going to play that game. Ah, uh, never mind. You don't always get what you want, do you? Oop. Someone's shooting at me. That'll teach him to mess with lava. Nice. Okay, that's going to be definitely a help. To stop myself from just wasting all of all of that, thinking that I might. Whoa. That was totally not cool. Um. Much better. I wonder if I can do that with the rest of it. Come on, get out. Okay. Annoying now. Just gonna dig this out a bit more. I'm sure. Yep, perfect. Now I think that I should have just opened up plenty. Even just by taking just the top pieces off should be able to easily get the amount that I need. But obviously you guys don't want to sit here and watch this, so I will pause the video and come back soon. Okay, welcome back. Um, well, if there's something I've learned from my time of trying to play the 404 challenge, it was that buckets of lava make really good light when you have no torches, so just thought I would come around and light this area up a little bit. Get some extra Nicolite. Hopefully not have any mobs spawn near me. Now I just have the fun task of getting out. I've been having to be really careful because there's lots of those kind of like gravel holes where things fall down. Almost went straight past some Nicolite. What have I got there? One and a bit stacks. Can't pass up gold. But to be honest, for the life of me, I can't work out what gold is really all that useful for. Okay, take my bucket of water back, because I like having a bucket of water with me. Just check this way a little bit to see if there's any more Nikolite that I can see. I can hear skeletons splashing around in there, but nothing? Okay. So, I'm going to make my way back up, collecting any iron that I see on the way back up, and I'll see you back at the surface, back soon. Okay, made it back to the surface, just in time for it to be really dark and rainy. So there we go. Back to the safety of my, once again, raining house. Now. Where are... My, there they are. Doped wafers. I'm gonna go... Start up a bunch of these cooking. Now, I thought I saw a villager who wasn't... 
uh, he has no door. That would explain why he didn't build... Whoa! That would explain why he didn't go back in home. Back into his home. I will totally fix that house in a second. I just want to make sure I get this little test certificate set up and safe first. Hmm, that skeleton's like, I'm, I'm going to get you. Just look at me and I'm going to get you. See, I knew I had a door somewhere. But the purpose of this expedition was not to do all those things. It was to take steel and coal and advanced machine block. Oh, I hadn't made an advanced machine block yet. Okay, that will explain why I hadn't done that yet. But I'm going to need tin. So there's some tin. There's some tin dust. Uh, I only need three pieces of bronze. So that's everything that I need to make that ingot. Then I need enough tin... coal. Ah. I'm sure I can get this worked out now. Okay, so I need to cook this. Wow, look at that go. Let's see how we're doing in terms of power usage now. It uses lots of power to cook, but then once it's finished, it fills back up pretty quick, so it doesn't seem to use very much power while it's full. Ooh. Once again, wrong button. Let's see how we go when we're actually really using the machines. Um, I've got that tin already. Three tin, three of that. Three of that. Hope I put that in correctly, yep. Okay, that's finished macerating. That's finished cooking. It just happens way too fast. Okay. Now that we're using all the machines. Wow, that's really sucking the power down. But, yeah, a matter of seconds later, everything's back to being full again. Okay, coal. Need to make myself a machine block. Need to take these two pieces of advanced alloys. Beautiful. Two carbon plates that I made earlier. Machine block. Now I'm going to need that wrench. I'm sure it stays on the last mode you had it on, but I just, you can never be too careful with these things. Okay, so we have a compressor, we have a machine block, and we have some obsidian, and that gives us one singularity compressor. And, oh, there you go, it's powered by the switch next to it, so without it having a second lever, it's already building up pressure. Now, if only I had something to actually use, that'd be cool. But I don't. But I think that I've certainly come a long way towards achieving the things that I was hoping to achieve in this episode. Um... I've got my three advanced machines that I can build with the things that I have right now. I've gone and collected a whole lot more materials. Pretty much got them all turned into their their dust forms. I'm well I have collected the uh, nickelite that I need. And through collecting all that nickelite, 
I've now made myself 16 more blue dirt wafers so I can make another two blue electric solar panels. So all things considered, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. So thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to try not to do two episodes in a day again to give you guys time to comment and let me know what you think you'd like me to do next. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy these episodes. Hey, Stocky out.